Don't stop believing. Oh, I can see you guys there. But uh, don't stop believing, guys. Just, just enjoy the journey here, don't we? Why don't we? Might. But uh, so the basic structures of a muscle organ. Let's get it. So uh, the myofiber, a.k.a. muscle cell, a.k.a. muscle fiber, a.k.a. myocyte, all means the same exact thing. So myofiber, it's the uh, cell of, uh, of muscle tissue. So the cells of muscle tissue, the myofibers, are very long. They do extend the full length of a muscle fiber. So they are uh, they are multinucleated, which we'll see. But right now, we just need to know the myofibers are... Uh, the cells are very long. They do extend the full length of the muscle fiber. And uh, even though they're very long, they still get a cell membrane, still get a nucleus. They're a cell. So uh, cells do have similarities and differences. But uh, cell membranes, I mean cells, excuse me, they have cell membranes and nuclei as well. But uh, the, there's a thing surrounding individual myofibers so it's a layer of dense connective tissue let's say here's the myofiber obviously much uh, smaller than this there's a layer of dense connective tissue surrounding this and that's called an endomyceum so endomyceum is a layer of dense connective tissue covering individual myofibers and then guess what all these myofibers that are covered by endomyceum they bundle together and the bundle of myofibers is called a fascicle so all these myofibers covered by endomyceum bundle together to form this fascicle. And guess what? We have another layer of dense connective tissue around this fascicle, which is called a perimyceum. So we've got the myofibers, endomyceum, all the myofibers bound together. That's a fascicle. And then uh, plural, or then covering, excuse me, the uh, fascicles or fasciculi, which is the plural form of fascicles or perimyceum, guess what? All these fascicles bundle together to form a muscle organ. So the muscle organ is then covered by another layer of dense connective tissue called the epimyceum. Epimyceum is the dense connective tissue that covers a muscle organ. Uh, this epimyceum extends to form fascia, which is a connective tissue that extends to uh, connect the muscle to the skin. And, uh, fascia also or that be my seam excuse me also extends the form tendons which are muscle to bone the connection of muscle to bone so how it goes it's the myofiber covering that the endomyceum all the myofibers bundle together form fascic a fascicle uh, covering the fascicle e each fascicle or all of the fasciculi or a uh, layer of dense connective tissue called perimyceum all these fasciculi these bundles of myofibers uh, the fasciculi bundle together to form a muscle organ. Surrounding the muscle organ is a layer of dense connective tissue called the epimyceum. So uh, it's just layers upon layers upon layers. Just think of like a like the Russian tea dolls that have the doll inside the doll, inside the doll, inside the doll, inside the doll. That sort of thing. That kind of reminds me of that. So you could think of that, or you could think of a, another analogy here. So you could think of like how a coin maybe in a coin holder, which is in a uh, certain compartment within a purse. So it's on a certain side of the purse in a certain compartment. And uh, that compartment is, or that whatever zipper is on a certain side of the purse, which is on the complete purse. So it goes from the coin to the coin holder, to the zipper, to the compartment, and then to the other compartment and the, that forms the whole muscle organ or the complete purse. So it's that first layer, the myofiber, then the endomyceum, then the fasciculi, then the perimyceum, and then all the bundles of fasciculi form the muscle organ. Covering the muscle organ is the uh, layer of dense connective tissue called an epimyceum, and we're going to learn what the hell the point of the dense connective tissue is in the next video. See you in a GIF.